I'm Dr. Brian Laird. I'm a professor of chemistry. I've been at KU since uh, 1994. I was an undergraduate at the University of Texas, getting a degree in both chemistry and mathematics. Uh, and then I went on to get to, to graduate school at the University of California uh, at Berkeley, computational and theoretical chemistry. And then I did a number of uh, postdoctoral and sort of faculty intern type stints at a number of places around the world, uh, ranging from New York City to Germany to Australia. And I was in Wisconsin and Salt Lake City a little bit before I landed in, at, uh, at the University of Kansas. I was chair of the department until very recently, uh, until 2019, for about five years. It's a little bit different than what you, you know, the standard sort of stereotype picture of a chemist, you know, sitting in a lab with some beakers or staring at instruments and turning knobs and dials. All of our work is done uh, on, on computers. Uh, typically, we use the high performance uh, computing cluster uh, here, at, uh, here at KU. So our job is to construct molecular models uh, to use to help describe chemical systems. We use them both to, to help uh, explain experiments and also to try and perhaps do some things that are very, very difficult to do experimentally. So what we do is to take what we know about the intermolecular forces in between atoms and molecules at, at the atomic level and develop uh, statistical theories to understand how they behave in the macroscopic world. So in, in the world in the world that we live in. Uh, there's been a long-standing interest in my group is understanding the properties of solid liquid interfaces. For a long time, we worked on, on how one used molecular simulation to calculate things like surface tensions and, and um, you know, the energy cost of forming a surface, say, between, say, ice and, and, and water uh, in a system. And we've developed a lot of techniques uh, for doing that. Very recently, uh, we've gotten very involved with uh, the Center for Environmentally Beneficial Catalysis here. Uh, and this is a center that's, that's based uh, primarily in chemical engineering. I'm also a courtesy professor of chemical engineering. They're all working on 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 different different projects, uh, and so you know their their day to day life is going through and and uh, you know uh, doing the simulations, working on the computer, doing uh, writing uh, analysis codes, for example. They, they learn a lot about scientific computing in general, how you do parallel computing, how, how one does, uh, how one writes in, um, in Python or Fortran or C. Uh, so they're, they're learning a lot of programming along the way. Uh, and these are all skills that often translate, you know, sometimes people go off and they, they, they don't necessarily in computational chemistry, but the skills that you would learn doing that could be applied uh, almost equally well in, in other fields that have a lot of computation, you know, weather prediction, economic forecasting. So you know they, they can they can do a lot of different things.